Hi guys, remember the old Nintendo console, the Super Nintendo? Well I thought external hard drives were a bit boring, so I thought I'd have a go putting one inside a Star Fox cartridge. Now my DIY skills are not good, so I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but I was happily surprised, so I thought I'd share this with you. Well, I had an old FIFA International Soccer SNES cartridge, but I didn't want to put a hard drive in that. Now that would have been embarrassing. But I could see that a 2.5 inch hard drive would definitely fit. So eBay time. Well, I didn't want the UK version because it was called Starwind here. I wanted it to be called Star Fox. Although I wouldn't mind finding a competition version of Starwing in the attic if this is what it's worth. Anyway, I settled on the Japanese version. It was cheap and it was called Star Fox. Now, I was worried it would take forever to ship from Japan to the UK. After I bought it, the seller said it could take between 15 and 60 days to arrive, but it arrived within a week, so happy days. So, I had the cartridge, but obviously I needed a 2.5 inch hard drive as well. Well luckily, I had a spare one terabyte one that I wanted to use, but what I didn't have was a USB 3 enclosure. So eBay it was again, and I bought this cheap one here. And I also bought some epoxy glue, some plastic putty, some pewter metallic spray paint, and some clear lacquer. So with all the parts needed, it was time to take the cartridge apart. The easiest way is to use the correct screwdriver. But another way to remove the screws is to melt the tip of a biro casing, press it into the screw, then let it set. This will then allow you to undo the screw. Well, I couldn't find a biro anywhere, so I drilled out the hole behind the cartridge on the reverse side to remove the screw that way. I knew anyway I'd be filling, sanding and spraying the cartridge, so this hole didn't really matter. Next, with the help from the heat from a hairdryer, I removed the sticker on the front of the cartridge and put it away safely so it didn't get damaged. So once the cartridge is open, the first thing we need to do is remove the circuit board. Then after that, we need to remove all the internal pieces of plastic so we can make room for the external hard drive enclosure. But don't try and remove this part here, else you'll have a big hole in the front of your cartridge. Now, I don't have a Dremel, so what I did to remove the plastic parts is I waited until the girlfriend had gone out, then I heated a kitchen knife until it was red hot, and then I could easily push the knife through the plastic parts and remove these that were in the way. So next I needed to push the external 2.5 inch case against the side of the cartridge and then using my hot knife remove the side so the case can stick through. I could have just cut a hole but I really wanted to have the hard drive light show through so I thought this would be the best way. So with the inside of the cartridge prepared I glued the tray from the external case into place into the hole that I'd just cut. I used the epoxy glue to do this as I wanted the strongest possible bond especially as I was gluing it onto the uneven surface of the top part of the case. After the glue had set, I went about sanding the rough edges of the plastic. I then connected the 2.5 inch hard drive into the USB 3 SATA adapter from the external enclosure. And then I put the hard drive with its adapter into the glued in tray on the cartridge. So with the hard drive in place, I stuck both sides of the cartridge together and waited for that to set. And then after it had set, I filled in all the holes and gaps with plastic putty. When the putty had gone fully hard, I then sanded everything down to give a nice smooth finish in preparation for spraying the cartridge. I decided to spray it a metallic pewter colour, but before painting it, I put some blue tack in the USB socket and then cut it off straight using a razor blade. This was to stop the paint going into the socket when I sprayed it. I did the same as well for the hard drive light. When I sprayed it, I used multiple light coats so as to give it a good finish. If you spray too much paint on at once, you'll get paint runs, so it's much better to spray lots of thin light coats to prevent this from happening. In all, I sprayed about five coats of paint, and after that had dried, I used two coats of clear lacquer to protect the paint. Now it was time to put the label back onto the cartridge. 
I found I had to use a small amount of Yoohoo glue to stick the label back on as it was before, and after the label had stuck properly, I gave it one last coat of lacquer to seal everything together. So now the external hard drive was complete. So I removed the blue tuck I put on both the USB socket and the hard drive light, and tested the drive. I was really happy with the result, and I think the drive looks good and works great. So now I think I've got a really cool, unusual external hard drive. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for a new video every week. If you like what I do then every donation is appreciated, which you can do through the link in the top right. So guys, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you all in that next video. Thank you.